So I'm Bob Clark. I went to Parkway Central High School. I graduated in 1977. Before that, I went to Parkway East Junior High School, where I was in the inaugural class there. And uh, currently, I own and operate a design-build company called Clayco. Tell me about your memories of Parkway. Um, I have all fond memories of, of Parkway. I had some really great experiences there. Um, one of my most powerful moments from uh, Parkway was uh, our principal, Phil Graham, at the time at Parkway East, and his constant uh, conversation with the students about values. And I think it might have been going over a lot of our heads at the time, but it really did sink in. And he had these uh, kind of categories that he talked about. And uh, I found myself using almost all of those same speeches with my children years and years later. So that's a, a great memory. And then, of course, I met my wife at uh, Parkway Junior High School, who, who uh, I dated for many years and was married to for 25 years. And um, a lot of good experience. Another really great experience was um, I'm now in the design build business. And much of the creativity that I had was unlocked uh, by an art teacher named Lauren Davis. And she made a really huge uh, impact, I think, on all of her students, but particularly on me. Well, and you talked about, as well, that you felt like in school, that was where you realized that you weren't going to work for anybody. Yeah, I, I, I really had a sense from the very uh, beginning that I was uh, always going to be self-employed. And um, I never could imagine myself in a job or working for somebody. And, and uh, that, that was kind of a dream, and that, that dream came true for me. Sounds like you had a lot of fun, too. I was, uh, I was the class clown, for sure. <laughs> I think I was voted most likely, likely not to succeed or something along those lines. But. And what do you say to those folks now? Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> I get the last laugh, as always. One of the things that I liked, too, was when we pre-interviewed you, you talked about your favorite memories of high school were the smoking lounge and the powder puff football game. <laughs> yeah, I did enjoy the powder puff football game. That was a lot of fun. They had a... Uh, I think they left the, there was some kind of camp out or something. All the girls slept in the school and all the guys kind of circled the school and tried to sneak in and uh, that was a lot of fun. But, Did you um, make it in? I think I got some of the girls out, which seemed to work better. What do you, uh, what part of your Parkway education do you think it helped you be as successful as you are? I think seriously, the, the, the uh, I think the art, I think that uh, many, many kids from the time they are um, kindergarten, you know, we're all artists and in the third grade about half of us are artists and by the eighth grade, you know, kids don't want to admit that art is something that they're really excited about and uh, I was probably in that category and Lauren Davis, who was our teacher at Parkway East and then came to Parkway Central, really unlocked that for me and I felt like it was okay, you know, to let the artist in me come out and um, that was powerful because that's still you know, what I do today. We um, have projects in 20 cities across America today, and I'm in, uh, incredibly active in the design part of all of my projects, and I think that's what separates our company from our competition. What would you say to those students who are perhaps sitting in the same seats that you sat in and either want to go into the field that, that you're in or are trying to figure out what they want to do? You know, I think um, that's a complicated question for me because I always knew what I was going to do. And, and so I, I think it's challenging when um, kids are a little bit lost and that sort of thing. But I, I would encourage kids to really um, try to find something that, they're, that they can find a, a bit of passion about. And even if it seems a little off the beaten path, to pursue it. And um, I think that uh, Parkway is a great school district and has a really wide variety of curriculum and I think um, there's something for everybody but everybody you know the person has to take the initiative and um, I think that kids today are waiting for some big aha moment and it's like going to happen to them and I encourage kids to make it happen themselves. What does being inducted into the Hall of Fame mean to you? Uh, you know, I did it more for fun and because a lot of my classmates were encouraging me to do it. And um, I've, really been, um, I've really been surprised by how many people from school have reached out to me, particularly people that I already do business with 
where we didn't even know we were in uh, Parkway together. And that's been really kind of interesting and fun. Anything else that you want people to know about your experience at Parkway? No, I just think that I had a great experience there. There were, um, you know, a handful of people who really had a major and significant impact on me and, uh, you know, that I greatly, greatly appreciate their service to me. And I know that many of the other students were as impacted as I was, but uh, particularly, you know, the principals who you don't really give much credit to um, and you don't interact with as much. Um, unfortunately, I interacted with the principals uh, more frequently than the rest of the students. But that actually turned out to be positive for me. And uh, I would encourage the kids to really take advantage to get to know the faculty better. I think a lot of kids are intimidated by the faculty. And um, I wasn't, and I interacted with them a lot, and I really got a good, a good experience because of it. Congratulations. Thanks.